Hey what's up guys, I'm Shubhanka from Tycoon's Gadgets and in this video I'm gonna tell you about 5 dangerous Android apps that are very harmful for your device and you should uninstall them right now. So let's get started. If it is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. First up is Share It. It is a very popular app and it has over 1 billion downloads on Play Store. It started out as a simple file sharing app but over time it has gotten worse. It's filled with ads, bloatware and unwanted content that makes the original use case obsolete. These ad scripts take a lot of resources and might slow down your phone and might have malware bundled in. Instead of using ShareIt, you can use files by Google to share files offline and even earn rewards in the process. It's amazing. So you should uninstall ShareIt right now. Next up are cleaner apps. These apps promise to clean your unwanted files and speed up your phone by killing background apps. Popular apps like CleanMaster and CC Cleaner, which have over 1 billion downloads, promise to do just that, but in fact are one of the worst apps ever made. These app kills background applications to make your phone faster. But the irony is, this app itself runs in the background all the time and makes your phone slower. And next time when the forcefully closed apps run again, they will take up more resources and make your phone more slower. And that will take more of your battery juice. Plus, it shows you ads all the time, which is very annoying. This app is a resource hog and its developer Cheetah Mobile is a very sketchy developer. They have been previously accused of stealing user data. You should not trust this company. Again, if you want to clean up your unwanted files, you can use Files by Google. It uses artificial intelligence to detect files that might be memes, etc. And it's safe to use. So you should uninstall these cleaner apps right now. Battery Saver Apps These apps promise to save your battery life by killing background applications and some have even promised to help your device charge faster. And that is very misleading. You can't fast charge your device if your phone doesn't support it. And about killing background applications, I already said that it only makes your phone slower. Because next time when apps run, it takes up more resources in the background. And nowadays Android is very smart. You don't require third-party apps to control background applications. Android can do that by itself. The operating system will help you save battery. These battery saver apps will only drain your device's battery and are totally unnecessary. You should uninstall these apps right now. Next up is GB WhatsApp. For those of you who don't know, it is a very popular third-party WhatsApp client that contains features that the official WhatsApp app does not have. There have been recent reports that while you are using this kind of third-party apps, these apps can steal your user data and send it to anonymous servers without your knowledge. And as it's not verified, it might contain some serious malware that can harm your device. Recently, WhatsApp has been cracking down on these third-party app users. I think it is better to stick to the official WhatsApp app. The last but not the least, Facebook. Once upon a time, it was a cool app that helped one stay connected with one's friends and family. But now, it is the god of privacy scandals and whatnot. It tracks everything you do and has been involved in so many scandals that I've lost count. It has been caught leaking data and sharing them with third parties without your consent. Example, the Cambridge Analytica scandal. It has no shame and I have lost my trust in the company. Your life will be better if you don't use this app. These were the dangerous Android apps that you should uninstall right now. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button below, do share this video with your friends and family and do subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks for watching.